Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at more juicy revenge stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. I used to work in a convenience store and the store manager was a real prick. Misogynist offensive as in haha cancer is hilarious offensive. I already hate this person. Creepy and a downright bully. Anyway, this guy, we'll call him Andy, fancied himself as a real leader. I mean, he wasn't. He set impossible tasks and yelled instructions whilst doing absolutely nothing in the office in the meantime. I had a colleague called Gabby, who, to be honest, I didn't get on with. However, I knew that at the time she was having a really tough time at home with her three-month-old son. One day in the winter, it had snowed fairly heavily. Gabby rang in that morning and told Andy she couldn't make it as she was snowed in. Everybody knew that wouldn't have been true and that it was likely she hadn't slept well with her baby crying and whatnot. But you know what? Who cares? She's always worked hard and deserved a break. It was only a four hour shift and the store was dead anyway. No customers were gonna walk over snow and ice for the morning paper. Plus, we were actually overstaffed. However, Andy had a problem with women. He was always disrespectful and demeaning. Like the rest of us, he knew she wouldn't be snowed in, but he didn't let it lie. He wanted to catch her out. You know, don't be like this person. Basically, he's just going out of his way to make someone's life harder for no reason. Andy abandoned the store, serious gross misconduct, and got in his car. He made the 15 minute drive all the way to Gab's house and took pictures of her car, her front driveway and the rest of the street to prove she wasn't snowed in. He then called her into the office at the end of the week for a disciplinary. When she came out she was in tears. She was on final warning. Andy wouldn't want a dismissal on his quarterly record so he basically just threatened her instead. This didn't sit well with anybody. We hated him anyway, but he went too far making a single mom cry over something so ridiculous. Oh my gosh, this guy is so bored with his life. <laughs> Seriously, okay. Well, here's the good part. What Andy didn't realize was that on the last work night out, he has drunkenly revealed to the team that he was a serial cheat. He would regularly cheat on his wife of 18 years. He also has two teenage sons. He would justify it as having natural male hunger. If you've ever heard a more disturbing quote, natural male hunger? No. More like natural trash, okay? Jeez. Relax, relax. Andy used to tell his wife that on the evening he finished at 11 pm. This was a lie. He never worked later than 9 pm. After an evening shift, he'd go and hook up with whichever side piece he had going on at the time. Well, one evening, he finished at 9pm and he got in his car and started driving. What he didn't realise was that Gab, who wasn't on shift that day, had dropped her son at her mum's house and had waited outside the store in her car for Andy to leave. She tailed his car all the way to his hookup house and parked three houses down. She then proceeded to take pictures of Andy hugging and kissing this random woman before pulling her inside and slamming the door. You can see where this is going. Andy didn't come into work for a week. When we saw him next, he looked broken. His wife had been anonymously sent the pictures of him getting off with another woman. She'd kicked him out and had contacted a solicitor to start a divorce process. His sons had blocked his number and wanted nothing to do with him. Of course, he knew who sent the pictures, but he had no proof, no evidence. You got what you deserved, honestly. This isn't even a revenge. It's just what was supposed to happen. Gabby stayed at the store for another three months before moving into another position. As far as I know, she's still there today and doing well. As for Andy, I have no idea whether the divorce went through or not. I blocked him on all of social media after I left the company. About a month after this whole thing, what I do know is that he's a disgusting human being who thought he was invincible. He thought he could walk all over people, bullying and belittling as he went. Well, he soon realized that nobody is invincible and I thoroughly enjoyed watching his collapse. Me too. <laughs> I don't even know him, but I'm so glad he got what he deserved. It wasn't even anything that bad though, because what, what did you expect when you decided to cheat on your wife? What did you expect? Honestly, this didn't even have to happen and it was gonna come out one day anyways. So, yeah. What a bum bum though, jeez. <laughs> this happened about eight years ago, 2013. My mom and I decided to go out to lunch one day. We drove until we found a lot that's business did not appear to be open at the time. 
My mum pulls into the lot and parks in a spot. We both walk over and investigate the business's window. It was a pastry shop for purposes later in the story. The lights are not on, the door is locked and there is a sign that says closed right behind the door. We conclude they are closed and went to eat our lunch. We finish eating about a little over an hour later and come back to find our car was missing, but the bakery was open. My mum and I walk inside of the bakery and ask if they had seen our car. The owner with a very stern tone and attitude said, yeah, I had it towed because it was taking up spots for potential customers. You should have come inside to ask me first. The mum responds that we did attempt to see if she was open and even buy something to see if we could park there for an hour or so. She calls us liars and she had been open all day and we never attempted to ask. My mum just basically said we tried and that it was wrong for her to tow us with so many other spots still available. The owner said something back to my mum that really upset her and made her cry. Oh. All while this is going on, I was taking mental notes that this bakery pastry shop was having ventilation insulation work being done. The insulation worker, who I can only assume was a random contractor and not a specialist, was doing the work right over the prep table for the food, all while smoking a cigarette. As I go to console my mom, I turn around and tell the lady her sign still says closed like we originally came to the door. She storms up to me and picks up the sign and slams it around to open. We are open now. Jeez. I calmed my mum down and we eventually got the car back from the tow company and got home. Once we got home, I was angry that lady made my mum cry, so I wanted revenge. I caught the health department for the city. I say exactly what I wrote above to the guy on the phone who puts me on hold and tells me to repeat everything I said word for word to his director. I tell the director the story, nothing about the car being towed obviously, I was a concerned citizen. She verifies the address location with me three separate times. Yes, the name was X. Yes, it was across the street from this restaurant on this street. She then tells me that she shut down that business the week prior for plumbing issues, insulation, and multiple other infractions. She was told she could not be open and operate a business until the plumbing issue was fixed and approved. She told me she would handle it. Later that night on the news, that business was being shut down for good for all the infractions, and I could see my mom look so confused and happy at the same time. Like karma worked for her that quickly. Told my mom years later, and she loved it. Oh, so the bakery wasn't even supposed to be open. So they could park there. Okay, seriously. What in the world? Okay, well that's obviously what they get for not following rules and breaking the law. Jeez. Yeah, why is your business open when it's supposed to be closed? Hmm? Hmm? Like honestly, none of this would have happened if they didn't tow the car. But some people really need to get out of the way to make other people feel bad, you know? Well, I'm glad they got what they deserved, seriously. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.